welcome to the instructional part of the video. Check the description box underneath in your YouTube player for tabs and backing tracks on my website, information about the sound tools I'm using, um, and links to other goodies via my Patreon page. Oh, and I would usually go continuing and cut, but I'm not gonna anymore. I'm just doing one long shot. Okay, so we got a drunken, sinister groove. The record is in F minor, but to be able to do this riff, F sharp minor, because I needed So I'm gonna be grabbing it, Hendrix style. Just an F sharp minor chord. You could do... I'm just more comfortable grabbing it that way. It doesn't matter really either way. You know, so you got... And the count is interesting. It comes in on the end of four. So you gotta be like one, two, three, four. So that's the tricky part. It's not on the downbeat. It's not... It's not that. That wouldn't work right. Uh, so yeah, count one, two, three, four. And you get those two. And then the little lick. That's a sixth, uh, f sorry, fifth fret on my on my G string, you know, which is blues notes really, but then also with a minor note. Five, two, three. And then a crawl up. Oh, one, two. Boom, done. That's all you need right there. That's the coolest thing ever. I always wanted to know that piano riff. By the way, slow down gears in YouTube over here or up here, depending on what device you're on. Spacebar pauses, arrows go forward and back because I move medium, medium fast because there's a lot to cover when I do these arrangements. So it does that. And then you know, there's not much of a melody to this. So I'm kind of going to harmonize it. So it's like thinking of that note actually as the melody, I'm harmonizing in sixes. So that's two and four. Two, uh, one and two. Land actually on four and four. Comes around again. Yeah, I might thumb that note. And that time, just to be make it different, I land on with sixes, a, a four and an arrow, and yeah, I'll get a with my Bigsby there. And then, oh, it goes one more time. That, that's a, there's our C-sharp, our five chord. Yeah, that's right, yep, you can see that. Five, uh, four, and six. Flat it out. And then, and then just to make it interesting, I basically cop the melody up high off of that F-sharp. Oh yeah, that one. I had to put a Mark Rabot scronk in there. Okay, so that is, yeah, up there on um, that thing. <laughs> F sharp minor, 9, 11, 11, you know, that bar chord. 9 and 9, land on those fourths, that 11, 11. Mark Rabot. So that's Mark Rabot to me as you do a blues lick and then land on a, a, it's not really a wrong note actually, it's just the flat five of the key. So you got 12 coming down to 10, 11, leap to that 12. And that's a weird, the weird note is that, that 10th fret there of the D, that's our 
the flat five of the key. And then it comes around again. And then more kind of Mark Rabot licks on those turnarounds. Uh, so then, yeah, if it did this before, now it's just an octave higher. So I'm flat at two and two. And then, so then, you, you know, yeah, it's like Mark Rabot is blues and minor to me is one way to kind of get that scronk. It's too bad he never played with Nick Cave. They need to do that. They need to team up because that would be fucking sick. Or maybe it would just be so sick that it would be the, the universe would implode with darkness. Okay, so we got a unison bend, two and four. Get that open E up top. Yep, and then I'm getting that, uh, I'm gonna call that a, a E sharp because yeah, we're headed towards that five chord. So yeah. And that's why it seems out of nowhere. It is part of that chord. And then, if I have time, I'll get that run, but I don't remember if I did. And then there's that piano riff. I think I did. Yeah, I get this kind of blues run here. Two, three, two, oh. Yeah, just leapy weird ways of like being like. Again, a good way to get Mark Rabot stuff. Instead of being super linear, be like, you know, jump things. Uh, hard riff. Okay, so you get your F sharp power chord, and then that's the melody there. Kind of push that five just a little bit. Four, open. And then, yeah, get him again. That's the hard part. That little chromatic pull off. That's the hardest part. Four, three, two, four, two. then you have to go and notice I end up getting that power chord with thumb and ring weirdo and then oh then back to the then we're back to that that opening thing and then that five, I get that, the two, and then this vaguely blixa. Again, I'm thinking of <laughs> typical blues, but again, hammering on. It's funny how much I say again. I say again because I teach guitar all day long. It's what I love to do. And so even though you might be watching this video for the first time, <laughs> I've said flat five, double stop, leapy, the things when I'm like, again, I'm like, oh, wait a second. You don't know. You haven't spent the time with me that I have anyway. <laughs> Flat fives, again. Uh, you, you know, you got to laugh at yourself. Okay. Uh, 14, 15, 16, 17. And let that high E in. Uh, yeah, that's basically what's going on there. Okay, and then let's see. Then I usually like to talk about, you know, this is the end part. You can click away for now if, if you're, you've learned enough. Um, what I like to talk to at, at the end is why I did it or what's interesting about it. Again, I just, <laughs> again, again, I need to learn a new word. Um, it's always fun for me to do a song that I really like and always really liked. Uh, I love Nick Cave. I grew up dark, dark dark, sad little fucker in New Jersey. I would come home from school and put on Nick Cave, and that was just my jam. Nick Cave, Tom Waits, 
Leonard Cohen, like, yeah, I'd be like, bah, high school, I'd put on Avalanche and take a nap. Um, so yeah, this stuff is near and dear to my, my dark heart, um, especially this one. And so yeah, it was always a fun one to put together. And when you try and transcribe a weird, spooky, messed up, uh, piano part to guitar, it really does change what you think you can do with this instrument, so that's always fun. Because, you know, I don't know, you, well, if you follow my channel, thank you, first of all. I do a lot of stuff that's not, here's the guitar part to this, here's the guitar part to this, here's the guitar part to this. I like to see what else a guitar can do, and I also just really like songs, because it makes me think about the instrument differently. I think that makes some kind of sense. I don't know, man. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Good luck.